Good morning, today is the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass this morning is being offered for Bernie Cooper Avenue Senior. Due to the rapid increase in COVID, our parish breakfast for this week is canceled. This week's second collection will be for the building fund. There is also a special free will offering for the victims of Haiti's earthquake. There is a separate basket marked in the back of the church. Registration for parent must be completed before Monday, September 20th. Registration forms can be found in the back of the church, at the rectory, or on the prep website. Please return the completed forms to the rectory. There will be no registration in the first evening of prep. And Holy Cross Church celebrates 40 hours devotion this week and all are welcome. Please pray with me the prayer of St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are protected against the wickedness of the and the devil. May God make you him, we humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, as the Son of Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, speaking in the world of souls. Our entrance hymn is number 485, To Jesus Christ Our Sovereign King, hymn number 485. Please rise and greet Father Bill.
Look upon us, O oh God, creator and ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of your mercy. Grant that we may serve you with all our heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this he turned around and looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. He summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We love them terribly. 
We want to hold on to them. We want to cling to them. And we cannot deal with the suffering and the pain of not having them in our lives rather than us reflect upon the suffering that they themselves are enduring. And that's what Jesus means when he tells Peter, you're thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. I believe in one God, Father, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, one from life to God, from God, the God of God made, consubstantial with the Father, through the all things were made, for us to
trusting in the anointed Son He gave up for our salvation. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that He may keep the Church in the faith of Peter, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected representatives, that they may respect the right to life of the unborn, the helpless, and the aged. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For consecrated contemplative religious, that men and women may be called to share their lives of self-renunciation and penance. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For members of our community who suffer, that they may know the Son of Man who was destined to suffer grievously. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our sick and bereaved. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of the departed, that they may see the Redeemer who suffered for them, especially Bernie Kukarabic Sr., for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. As we remember the 20th anniversary of the Paris attacks on our country, where over 3,000 people died, we pray for peace throughout the world. We pray for peace in our own nation. Let us pray, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, through the merits of our Savior, hear the prayers of your church, confessing with Peter our faith in Christ your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please join in our hymn, We Remember. It's number 25 in our supplement. We Remember, number 25 in our supplement.
what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim.
Pierre who said, Come on, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other signing. Our new can be found in our supplement is number 21. These alone are enough. Hymn number 21 in our supplement.
Please join with me the prayer to end the coronavirus. Lord Jesus Christ, our divine physician, we ask you to guard and protect us against coronavirus, COVID-19, and all serious illness. For all that have died for him in that mercy. For those that are ill now, bring healing. For those searching for a remedy in life, for medical caregivers helping the sick, strengthen and shield them. For those working to contain the spread, grant them success. For those who are great, grant peace. May your precious blood be our defense and salvation. By the grace of you turn your people of disease into moments of consolation and hope. May we all consider the contagion of sin more than any illness. We have added ourselves to your infinite mercy. Thank you. 